Hi, it's Amanda and Gus, and we are backyard in the garden. Uh, I did some setup, looking at uh, what I can set up to get ready for my seedlings, and I was going to take a walk through it, show you how we're getting prepped, ready for next week when we're ready to plant things in the ground. So I'm going to walk you through what I've done in my garden. Uh, so first things first is we've added a few more of the elevations for our strawberries. If you look here, I have some flowers coming in. There's going to be some strawberries soon. And what these guys do is it just kind of helps keep them from laying on the ground, which is going to help prevent them from bruising. Uh, it's kind of the point of it. These guys can hook so that way it's fully round. You can see I have one there that's set up that way. But for the most part, I've been just doing them as halves. And it just kind of um, helps elevate a little bit without it being too much. Um, and then I also have over here a couple, my little fairy. Uh, I just like that guy. And plus, it, it uh, shiny, so helps detract some of, the, some of the animals. Then we also have uh, this little charming thing. This uh, moves with the wind, so it's just a movement. Helps keep some of the animals away. Um, have another little dandelion with fairies over here. Uh, this is where the potatoes are going, so I don't have too much over there. Um, hoping soon I'll start to see some of the potato plants come up. They usually start popping here in a little bit. Got something in the ground there that might or might not be a potato. Might be a weed. We'll see as it grows. Then I have my trellis for my cucumber. I really like this guy. It's actually sold as like a tomato trellis, but I use it for the cucumber. It's pretty sturdy without it being too heavy. Um, and you can kind of configure it how you want to. So I have that going on. Right here is where we're gonna have carrots. I have this fencing is actually gonna go along the front of this section. And that's to keep Gus out of there. Gus is allergic to carrots, so I don't want him chewing on those accidentally. Um, then I have my tomato uh, up, so I'll go around my chair here. So I've got four, because I have two Roma plants and two cherry plants that are going to be coming in the ground. Um, the cherries are going to be over here, and I have that rebar there just to give it some extra strength, because the cherry tomato plants get really, really heavy. Um, over here, I also have these little trellises. Uh, that's to help when I have the basil in to keep it from spreading too much. And then I've got that trellis work is for the zucchini to kind of keep it contained and going from um, just being a little bit to being everywhere. See, my garlic's looking pretty good. And then also we've been already been able to pull some of the uh, green onion. I just kind of snip a stalk at a time as I need it or want it. Um, to add to salads or stir fries or whatever. Then I'm gonna come over here. So this is where we have that extra little section for strawberries and then my blueberry plant that's starting to come back, amazingly enough. So I have a few more of those um, little, little frames there to keep the strawberries from being directly on the ground. Uh, I do see, I spy, I've got a strawberry flower there. So I do have some strawberries popping in. Um, this section had just been planted last year, so I only got a few out of it last year, so I'd love to get any. Um, and then this little guy's cool. He lights up. So, it's kind of cool at night. And then, yeah, look at my blueberry. I've got some healthiness coming in, um, which I love to see because I wasn't sure if that guy was uh, going to make it or not. Then over here, that's where we had set up an uh, old wooden ladder that my neighbor was throwing away. Um, that'll be for the pumpkin. I do have a section here. I actually have another um, smaller wooden ladder. It's a three step instead of the four step that I have there, um, but for my other squash. So, and I did put one of these. So this here is kind of like a heavier trellis kind of work. Um, I have two of them. So I'm gonna put the pumpkin down there so that way it can hopefully climb up and then continue climbing up the ladder. Next section over here, this is actually where lettuce is going to go. I have a couple more of the um, tomato cages, which I'm going to be using for peppers. Uh, so those are just kind of sitting there off to the side. And then I have this complicated gizmo, um, which is several things put together. So this is for the beans and the peas. I'm going to do is, so I have this kind of uh, TP frame one. Um, and then I've got these uh, poles here for the green beans to climb up. So I've got green beans will be within this section. I'm going to do black beans here. 
And then on the back side is going to be the peas. Um, reason the peas are in the back, Gus is also allergic to peas. Uh, this poor dog, he's allergic to everything. And right now, he's chewing on grass, which he's also allergic to. Here, buddy. And then over here, we don't have anything yet. This is where the corn's going to go. Super excited for corn. Um, I do have this, uh, the metal wind uh, going. I might have to do something else. Just trying to keep birds away from my corn as it's growing. So we'll see how that goes. But that's some of the setup that we have going on here. I just wanted to do a quick little seed check for all those little plantings that I had shown um, in my first video. So over here, we've got cucumber that's looking very, very healthy. We've got the Roma tomatoes. You can see how those have sprouted up and the cherry tomatoes. So the cherry tomatoes are running around five inches tall. Um, they are skinnier than some of those that you might see for like if you're at a uh, nursery and they have the ones that are grown in greenhouses, but that's okay because these are all grown from seed inside my house. Uh, over here we've got broccoli, so that's looking pretty good too. Um, I'd like it to be a little bit fuller, but I think we're in a good place that we'll be able to bring it outside here next week. We've got some marigold going pretty strongly. Next we're going to come here to the kitchen. So over here we've got lettuce. Um, so we got the bib lettuce, some microgreens, Caesar. My Grand Rapid did not come in, so I think that my seeds have just gotten a little bit stale there. And that's all right, that happens. Um, my zucchini is looking amazing. Look how full and thick that is. And then we got this is the pumpkin that is coming up. You can see it's kind of like leaning, so it should be a good climber for the way that we have the setup in the back. I also have a black bean going here, and it's climbing up pretty strong too. That's going on uh, six inches tall. Uh, then I've got this. That's a green bean. Look at it. It's so mighty. Um, I'm amazed that it grew so tall inside. I haven't even gotten it outside in the ground yet and getting like that natural rainwater. This is another green bean here. And then I've got a couple peas going on over here. So those are looking pretty good. Uh, we only have a couple of marigolds came in and then I just planted some peppermint. Uh, reason being is that's a good kind of detractor for insects as well. So I don't have any seeds popping yet, but that's okay. That takes a little bit and we just planted it. And then I'm going to come over here. So I've got, let's see, we've got some kale, some other lettuce. We've got romaine here. Um, I've got a spinach coming up in the front here. And then a little black bean. The other black bean's doing much better. I've got pepper, which I've been hit and miss with, with my bell peppers. So even seeing the seedlings is a good sign for me. We've got a lot of asparagus. You can see that asparagus is like a fern. So um, the first year when you're growing it from seed, you just let it grow because it's gaining those nutrients, getting the strength. It's not going to be ready to eat for a while. Um, then over here we've got uh, it's the basil, which the basil always pops when it's outside versus inside. We've got some dill, thyme, and spinach going. So um, some good starts going on. And then if you remember, I still had some in my office. We'll come over here. So in my office, can I move some of the asparagus around? So I actually had three more sprout from um, some of the later seeds. The other ones haven't taken yet, so, um, but I have space for like 14 asparagus and that's kind of what I have. So I have the right amount that came up. So my asparagus I'm actually gonna be bringing to the front of my house, like with that flower garden that I have that doesn't, didn't have a lot of flowers per se going on. Um, so I've already brought in some separators. What I'm going to be doing is putting one uh, of those asparagus plants in each of these. Um, and the point of these is to kind of help hold it as it's growing up. And as you can see, I have some trellis here that I have taken um, one of those ones similar to what I have for the cucumbers and uh, started doing that. I'm going to get a few more. I'm going to kind of create a barrier. And so um, that's going to give it something because as it grows up, it can grow up to five feet tall as you're letting it just grow. Um, so this way, you know, if we have like a windstorm or something, I don't have to worry about it all falling over. So I've got this section that's here that I'm going to use for asparagus. And then over here, kind of, of course, against the porch, we have another section. So I've got four more. 
of those circular holders and I'm gonna get more of the trellis to go around it. And then up here too, I've got the blueberries. So these guys we were covering up at night just because of how cold it was getting. But you can see this one is looking so vibrant and healthy. Um, a little bit better than the one in the back. So I love how that's turning out. Um, should have plenty of blueberries later this year, which is exciting. I'm gonna take a step back here so you can see, I'm gonna still have some flowers here in the front, um, both real and fun fake one. But i um, gonna use some of this space for growing some food as well. And then the peppers, when I bring those out, I'm actually gonna bring those and put them in the front here also. Um, on this side, which I have a lot more flowers over here, but I've got this stand in the back, so I'm gonna put the peppers in like a big, um, big pot, have it back here, but then that way my house is actually gonna help uh, protect it against some of the elements, so hopefully it's gonna do better than I've done in the back. So with the plants that I have started, um, we've got a pretty good base for the garden, but I'm probably gonna go to a garden store and uh, see about anything that I couldn't get to grow from seed. Uh, if there's anything else that I want, because I do have a little bit more space, and then that way I can layer those in as well. And um, I'm also gonna probably start mm -hmm. some additional lettuce now from seed, keep it inside, so that way as the lettuce that I have planted starts growing, I can kind of layer that in and we can have lettuce um, throughout the summer and into the fall, having it come to the right um, ripening throughout the, the whole few months because it grows really fast and I usually have lettuce way before I have tomatoes or cucumbers. So have a nice salad later. Um, you can use some of it now, like do like a Caesar salad or something and do more like your typical house salad or chef salad later on when we have some of the other vegetables too to add to it. So um, that's the current plan, current way that everything is set up. Uh, in a week, we're probably gonna start putting things in the ground. This is gonna be exciting. Talk to you later, bye.